when the Muslim is about to enter the next world and leave this dunya, the Malakul Maut comes and sits at his head. So it's at the place of the head. Then the, the angels of the heavens come down as if their faces are suns, bright. And they have with them the shrouds of Jannah and the perfumes of Jannah. So when the person is about to pass away, Allah sends a delegation of angels just for him. So angels will come and they will have with them the shrouds of Jannah and the perfumes of Jannah. And they will sit as far as the eye can see. Now this would apply to the elite category that they get the best delegation. And generally when the hadith mention these types of things, they mention the highest because that's the prize. That's what you want. You want to have that level that as far as the eye can see. Can you imagine you are in a crowd, you are the center of attention and you are surrounded by millions because as far as the eye can see, that's like imagine, you know, like as far as the eye can see is literally we're talking about hundreds of thousands and all of them, they are bringing peace and comfort with their presence. Their faces are shining bright. You can smell the fragrances of Jannah. You can see all of them. They have the kafan for Jannah. What do you think the impact will be when you see this? What do you think the impact will be? And that's the whole point. We want to get to that level. And so they will come down and they will sit as far as the eye can see. Then the angel of death will say, أَيَّتُهَا النَّسْفُ الْمُطْمَئِنَّ أَخْرِجِي إِلَى مَغْفِرَةِ مِنَ اللَّهِ وَرِضْوَانِ O pure and peaceful soul, now is the time to exit. The angel of death has that power that Allah has given him that he can take the soul. And even though he can take it in any manner, he is taking it in such a gentle manner. He is inviting the soul, come, come out now. Now come, you beautiful soul, you pure soul, come out and I welcome you to Allah's maghfirah and Allah's pleasure. So this shows us that at the very, very last millisecond between life and death, the person, even though the monitor is saying his heart is alive, even though he's surrounded by his family, he enters a different realm. Now, from our paradigm, that might be a millisecond, we don't know. From our world, if we look at the watch, it might be something that we cannot even count. But from the perspective of the person about to die, now things go into a different time zone. Because the one who is about to pass away, time and space are different, right? The barzakh is different. They have a different sense of time and space, as we said last time, and everybody understands this. So, that person, while they're still alive, they're seeing all of these angels. They aren't dead yet. They see the angel of death. They can still see the angel of death and they're still alive in this dunya. And the angel of death is saying, come pure soul, come beautiful soul, come out and meet Allah's maghfirah, meet Allah's pleasure. So the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, فَتَخْرُجُ تَسِيلُ كَمَا تَسِيلُ الْقَطْرَةُ مِنَ السَّقَى So his soul will exit and just go out. The silu, sala yasilu means to flow. This is the, you, you say that, that the, the river the, also has sayalan. It's just flowing. The same word is used. So the Prophet ﷺ said, his soul will flow out like water flows out from a jug. If you pour water out, the smoothness. And by the way, the metaphor is also comfort because when you see water, all human beings, it's a sign of peace, a sign of calmness. And the metaphor that a Prophet gave is a metaphor of calmness. His soul will exit the body like water when it is poured from a jug. So that beautiful, just symmetric coming out, this is how the soul will exit and it will then reach the uh, angel of death and the angels around it. And the Prophet Sallallahu said, they will not allow the soul even one second to be unattended. They will take it up to the heavens immediately. In other words, the soul will not be left alone. 
the soul will not feel empty or naked, naked or anything. No, the angels will come and they will shroud the soul. They will put perfume on the soul. So interesting, by the way, the body, we shroud it. But the soul, the angels shroud it. The body, we take care of it. That's our job. That's fard kifaya on us. If the family is there, they do it. If not, then the community will do it. We have to take care of the body that's left behind. But the soul that's going forward, that is the responsibility of the angels. And the angels will wrap it in the delicate cloths of Jannah. And they will put the perfumes of Jannah on it. And every time they were going up to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they will pass by other angels. And the angels will say, Who is this beautiful soul? And the angels will respond, this person is Fulan ibn Fulan. And they'll mention him by the best names that the people of earth remembered him by. Anybody who said, oh, you're an honest person, the angels will say, this is Fulan ibn Fulan, the honest person. Somebody would have said, you're so generous to us. So then uh, the angels will say, so and so, the son of so and so, the generous one. So all of the adjectives that were used on earth in a positive manner, which means what must we do in this dunya, brothers and sisters? Do khair, do good. We want the angels to use those adjectives, right? So the Prophet ﷺ said, the Ahsan al Asma, the best descriptions that the people gave of him, the angels will give as they're going upwards. Now, once again, remember, all of us will go through that. We will all be terrified at that stage. I mean, this is human nature. If you do anything that is new, you will be terrified. How about if you're exiting this world? We will be terrified. What is all happening now? Calmness. Calm. You are being comforted. That not only the angels that have taken you, but every angel you go by, every group that you go by, they're smiling, they're radiant, they're encouraging you. And this is the reward of the righteous life lived in this dunya. The one who lived righteously, now they begin to taste the fruits of that righteousness. So they are going up. And still, I mean obviously there's still a matter of, of panic and whatnot. They're going up and up and up. And every time they go, the angels comfort the soul and mention him with good, with good uh, names. And then they reach the highest heavens. And then the Prophet Sallallahu said, when they get to the highest heavens, فُتِّحَتْ لَهُ أَبْوَابُ السَّمَاءِ the, the doors of the heavens are opened up for him. And so again, imagine the VVIP status. He is the entourage. He is the person wherever he goes, the doors open up. He's being ushered in with the entourage. How do you think this person is going to feel now? More and more, the calmness is uh, setting in. And they go higher and higher until they say that they get to the highest heavens, the seventh heaven. So throughout all of these seven heavens and throughout all of these heavens, the angels are going to be comforting until finally they reach the seven heavens. Then it will be said, Uktubu kitabahu fil illiyin. It will be said. Who will say this? In other reports, Allah will say. So Allah will say, write his name in the register of illiyin. And Illiyin is the name of a register for the righteous people. It is mentioned in the Quran. And it means the highest register from Ulu, from the high. Illiyin, it is the high leg leg uh, um, registration. That is where the highest book is written for the righteous people. So Allah Azza wa Jal will announce and everyone will hear, write the name of my servant in Illiyin. And then Allah will say, Arjiu, irjiu abdi ila al ard. Return my servant to this world because I created them from it and I shall return them to it and then I shall bring them back from it one other time. Minha kharaknakum wa fiha nuidukum wa minha nujukum taratan ukhra. And so his ruh will be returned to his jasad. Are you tired of all these annoying ads on YouTube? Are you worried that a haram video might pop up? Well, the One Islam TV app is here to solve these problems, inshallah. The One Islam TV app is 100% free of any ads and is safe to browse for your peace of mind.
Watch or listen to lectures and lessons while you work, rest, or drive with your device switched off. Watch videos on demand or download videos and watch offline. Watch hundreds of high quality produced Islamic reminders, Quran learning videos, stories of the prophets, and so much more. Two to four new videos uploaded daily, inshallah. One Islam TV is 100% run and owned by Muslims, which means a small amount you pay for your subscription is a sadaqa jariya, continuous charity for you as we use the funds raised to continue producing more beneficial videos and reminders, inshallah. The One Islam TV app is now available on Apple devices, Apple TV, Android devices, Android TV, Amazon Fire TV, and Roku so you can watch on most devices and smart TVs. Download now for a free 7-day trial. May Allah reward you for supporting our work.